Now, I used to travel a lot. When I did, I saw a restaurant called Quan's Kitchen in Boston, Los Angeles, New York, Detroit, Vermont, Minnesota, and every point in between. I saw a restaurant called Chang's House in Philadelphia, Seattle, San Diego, and even down in Connecticut. So my question to you is, why can't there just be two clubs called 4040? Jay-Z has a club in New York called 4040, and David Ortiz has a club in the Dominican called 4040. Jay-Z is suing David Ortiz for so much money over the website rights to this thing that Ortiz's lawyers will only say that it is, quote, way too much. I think these guys just need to get out of the courtrooms and start settling things like the people who own the Asian restaurants did with Japanese animation. Hey Jay-Z, I will give you something in exchange for your club name. My ass! So I saw a headline yesterday saying that a radio host from Alabama by the name of Scott Moore has audio tapes proving that he can out Cam Newton. Huh? They apparently have different terminology for things down in Alabama than we do because he meant that he will out him as taking money to play at school. He says he got his hands on audio tapes where Cecil Newton is asking colleges for money and Cam Newton is actually in the background. Right, audio tapes that prove he's in the background. Ready? Hey Cam, what do you say we asked for 25 grand? Okay, Dad! Yeah, you didn't see it, but I swear that was Cam over there. And finally, I really enjoy following people on Twitter, like Greg Anthony from ESPN. Recently saw a tweet from him that said, Would you rather get in the or in the throat? What? It was a retweet, and Anthony came out and said that his account got, oh, you guessed it, hacked. My question is, how does this keep happening, and what are these idiots using for their password? So the combination is one, two, three, four, five. Five. That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life! That's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage! So now as we wrap up the catch up for a Wednesday, March the 2nd, 2011, here's your video of the day. That thing skipped like a hundred yards. Oh, sh-